Hello and welcome to this Estranti YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be working through an example of how to use the multiplicative model when making a forecast. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button at the bottom of this video, as we're going to be posting a lot more videos over the next few weeks for students studying for their exams. Also, please visit our website on www.estranti.com for more advice and information. So let's jump right into our question about the multiplicative model. So Company J has the following information about its revenue in the past four quarters. We have the figure for the revenue in each quarter in thousands of pounds, and also the trend value for this revenue again in thousands of pounds. Company J has calculated its trend values using the following equation y equals 580,000 plus 5,000x, where x is the quarter number, so 1 in quarter 1, 2 in quarter 2, and so on, and y is the trend value. Which is revenue, in our case. So given this information, which of the following is the correct value for 20x1 quarter 2 forecast revenue when using the multiplicative model. We're asked to assume that seasonal variation repeats every four quarters. So let's look back at our table of information to see what the question is asking us to do. So if we look at our table of historical revenue information for company J, we can see that the trend value doesn't always reflect the actual value for revenues that have happened in the year 20x0. Sometimes the trend value is above the actual value for revenue, as in 20x0 quarter 1, and on other occasions the trend value is below the actual value for the revenue in that quarter. So using what we've noticed in this historical data, we can make corrections to trend values we calculate for future periods to make them more accurate, and doing this allows us to make better forecasts. But the key thing is to know exactly how to adjust our trend values, and under the multiplicative model we use a percentage change. So we take our trend value, as calculated in this equation, which I'll come to more in a moment, and then apply a percentage change to this trend value to make it into an appropriate forecast. So for this question, we're going to be focusing on 20x1 quarter two. The question has told us that seasonal variation repeats every four quarters. Repeating every four quarters just means repeating every year. So the seasonal variation in 20x0 quarter two will be the same as the variation that occurs exactly one year later under the assumption that we've been asked to make. So let's look at our figures for 20xO quarter 2 and see the percentage change that needs to occur to the trend value in that period to make it equal to the actual revenue. So the trend value multiplied by the seasonal variation, SV for seasonal variation, is equal to the actual value for the revenue in that period. So looking at our table, our trend value was £590,000. So I'll write this in thousands. And our actual value for the revenue in this period was £631,300. So again, I'll write this in thousands. So all we have to do to find our seasonal variation is to divide the actual value for revenue in that period by the trend value to obtain our figure for seasonal variation. So note that all we've done is rearrange this equation and this gives us a value of 1.07. So when we multiply the trend value of £590,000 by the seasonal variation of 1.07, we obtain the actual value for revenue in that period. 
and multiplying by 1.07 is the same as a 7% increase. So again, as the seasonal variation repeats every four quarters, in 20x1 quarter 2, the seasonal variation will also be 7%. So to make our forecast for this period, we just need to find the trend value, and then multiply that trend value by our figure of 1.07 to get that 7% increase, and this will give us our adjusted forecast revenue. And all adjusted means in this context is that we have considered seasonal variation when making our forecast. That is to say, we've adjusted the trend value by the relevant percentage. So let's calculate our trend value. So looking to our equation, we see we take 580,000 and then add 5,000x. Where x is the quarter number. So in 20xo period, so in 20xo quarter 4, the quarter number is 4. In 20x1 quarter 1, the quarter number is 5. And therefore, in 20x1 quarter 2, the quarter number is 6. So this gives us a trend value of £610,000. And it's in pounds because this is a trend value for Company J's revenue. So let's take our figure of £610,000, multiply it by 1.07, Again, a 7% increase, that is our multiplicative seasonal variation, and this gives us £652,700. And this is our forecast revenue for 20x1 quarter 2, using the multiplicative model, and assuming that the seasonal variation repeats every four quarters. Now if we take a look at our options, we can see that option D is just the trend value for this period. This option hasn't taken into account the seasonal variation that we expect to occur in this period. So option C is the one that we want. And so this is how we can use multiplicative variation in conjunction with a trend equation to make a forecast. So thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe for more content to help you pass your SEMA exams.